And then it's on so we're here with the Dino too. Light. <laughs> you get Hi. Hi, I'm Kerry Rourke. And uh, you're famous for being the mm, and then you said electronic the microscope uh, company, right? Yes, we are the original handheld digital microscope. We've been around for over 15 years. I think I did a video with you 15 mm -hmm. years ago. Really? Oh. Uh, something like this. 14, 15 years ago, a save it, long time ago. Yeah, there very. Like the little USB microscope. Yep, yep, that sounds like us. <laughs> How do you make those originally? Well, where our patent lies is in our lens design. We have a lens that will travel up and down the body of the microscope, and then there's a sensor back here. The correlation between that lens and the working distance allows it to have variable magnification. And that's really what made Dynalite special 15 years ago. How do you adjust the variable magnification? Do you just turn on it? Yes, yeah, so, so to adjust the magnification, you have to adjust both the working distance and then turn this dial here on the side. So these can focus to infinity. It's not made for that, but I can have a very large field of view if I'm far enough away. And then these caps here on the end, these are actually uh, made at a specific distance so that if this cap is in contact with a surface, like my shirt here, it can focus twice, once at 50 times and again at 200 times without having to adjust the working distance further. So it's autofocus? So what is this? It's not autofocus, it's just very easy to focus. You just have one dial there that you can control with your thumb and then you adjust the working distance. There's no need to autofocus because it's always the same distance, right? Correct, yes. But uh, some things are more intricate, like right now, for example, you're putting uh, clock right there? Yeah, so, so this is a good example. So I focused uh, roughly just with my thumb there and since it is based on height I can come in here using the stand and this particular stand has a 5 micron uh, uh, adjustment here. So if I turn this dial here I can use this to fine-tune my focus. So it's uh, really easy to get it exactly in tune with where you want it to be. It's just beautiful. <laughs> uh, do you have this this uh, stuff for sale? Is it expensive? No, is everything is uh, really reasonably priced. Our most expensive product that we have is this guy right here at $1,400. Uh, this stand is one of over 100 different stands and accessories that we have. This stand is uh, $260, uh, and everything is down from those price points. What's so special about this one? Why is it $1,400? This model is a USB 3.0. It's uh, 5 megapixel. It will auto calibrate itself if you're doing measurements. So if I put down a measurement here and I turn the dial, it's going to automatically uh, input the correct scale into the software for me. So to do a measurement, all I have to do is get, get it in focus and do my measurement. Instead of having to get it in focus, put down a calibration standard, do my calibration, and then if I change the magnification, do that all again, I just get it in focus and measure away. Do you have like hundreds of competitors or there's no, no need to talk about competition? Uh, <laughs> there really is nothing. You're, you're welcome to try, but uh, we really stand alone. Um, so every, like, I'm Swiss, right? So every mm -hmm. Swiss watchmaker has a bunch of these. Like everybody is using this stuff? Oh yes, yes. These are used in everything from genetic studies, jewelry, medical, uh, so you name it, if it's small and it needs to be made big, we're probably, we probably have our foot in there some way. <laughs> um, so PCB designer kind of people? Yes, uh, looking at PCB, uh, checking for uh, just any sort of small defects, uh, weld inspection, textiles. Jewelry. Jewelry must be awesome, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'd love to see the. I love to see diamonds up close. Yeah. And there's no better way. Absolutely. Exactly. It's uh, very easy to see diamonds. Check the GIA numbers, uh, and you have something that's small enough that you can put in your pocket. A lot of jewelers, uh, they really like this product. Uh, it's one of our new new products. It's fully wireless, so it's a new modular design. So this is the entire wireless unit that you can put on any of our our. AF models and then so the jewelers they can just have this and their cell phone and they can uh, talk to their customers and just grab a diamond and 
and get it in focus, look at the GIA number without having to have a big, huge microscope off in the corner of a room. What is this GIA number? Is it like the purity of the diamond? Or no, every single uh, diamond or every single diamond should have a GIA or uh, I can't remember the other one, the AIA number on it. And what that is is a serial number for your diamond to make sure that you're not getting a conflict diamond. You put and, them on? Yes. Mm -hmm. Some that, kind of uh, system puts them on every single diamond. Yeah, yeah, it's laser engraved onto the diamond. Some diamonds even have little QR codes. It's it's pretty incredible. And there's no corruption in this thing, right? They are all <laughs> real non-conflict diamonds. I'm joking. But, I mean, I, that's what they tell us. I'm not joking. That's not funny. <laughs> all right. Uh, this, these are videos showing some other kind of thing happening here. Yeah, so this is how it looks when you're using our wireless scopes and uh, you, this is how the apps look. So the app allows you to take photos, videos. Uh, you can even do some simple measurements inside the app. So it's a scaled down version of our main Dino Capture software. Nice. Uh, let's let's uh, check here. Here are you showing some PCB stuff. Um, and what is this? This is a, uh, I can't remember, it's a type of sensor, it's used for detecting methane, you said that it's uh, instrumental in uh, fighting global warming. Uh, this is actually a demo object that was provided to us by our neighbors over here. Uh, and they can probably talk about that better than I can. But each one of these little holes on, on here are uh, two microns in diameter. So each one of these little holes here, two, two microns in diameter. Each one of those boxes is uh, 49 microns in width. We're getting very close to nano. Yes, yes. Uh, we're always, uh, every single year we make new advancements with our product. Uh, we are hoping to eventually expand our magnification range to at least the physical limit of uh, light microscopy, which is about 1,800 times. Is that nano? Um, can you can you see nano? Well, yes. I mean, well, no, no. You still need an electron okay. microscope for true nano <laughs> viewing. But you need just need to get smaller than one micron. Yes. Then uh, it's nano, right? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, eighteen hundred times would be about twice this magnification. Yeah. That's one. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. So one micron it, on this screen right here is about a single pixel. So if I uh, put down this and I use my arrow keys to move this over once, it'll, oh, I'm sorry, it's half a pixel. What? The screen is, is, is half a pixel? No, no, that's just the scaling uh, one of... Mic one micron is half a pixel? No. One, one micron is about four pixels in this current configuration. That's not across all screens, that's just this screen and it's scaling. So one micron, you couldn't even see it there. So if we were to go to the limits of light microscopy, it would be double this magnification, and uh, that little line would be about twice as big. <laughs> is there a thousand nanos in a micron, or is there a million micron? How is it? It's one of those. It, uh, it's it's a, a thousandth of a 